guys, Tony from the Heritage Line here and as you can see she is back, this is Swade's Pond, this is a little layout I've been building and working on, it was a layout that I got handed to me and I've angle sized it really, it was a continental layout, it isn't anymore, I've still got lots and lots of work to do to this I'll swing you around to the other end as well. There you go. As you can see, lights are still working. My flashy unit's still working in the engine shed. It's one or two bits I'm not happy with, but I will get around to them and I will rectify that. That's not really an issue. Now then, as I've said in the past, originally I was actually going to do an open day. And that meant putting a few market stalls on, that meant doing a few traders, hot dog stands, ice cream and all that gubbins as well. There is quite a big open space in the middle there and I could do that. Now the only problem that I've got, and I've been procrastinating around this for a while, and uh, essentially this top bit here and this bottom bit here the middle as you know is hollow and all the wiring is fed all the way under there and to be honest as you've probably seen in the past it was very awkward to do and to do this justice the market I would have to light up so I was procrastinating a little bit, thinking how am I going to do that, how am I going to get lights up there, do I really want to tackle all those wires underneath, chance of pulling some more wires out. Well I think I may have the solution, I've got to try and test it yet, but I think there is a way of doing it. Um, to be honest, I watched Stephen's little market on Elven Ho, and he's had a crack at lighting it up and he's done a really good job he really has and I'm like it reinvigorated me a little bit and yes I'm going to do that I'm going to stick to the open day I don't just want to chuck some fences up and a few more bushes and just have some lorries in there I'm going to go to the full hawk I'm going to make it a, an open day I'm going to have it lit up at night now then you say why would you have an open day at night? Because they don't run at night. Well, they do and they don't. Yes, you're right, in generally they don't. But some people make an event of this and at night time you might get a beer tent open and you know, people go there, have a few beers, enjoy the music, enjoy the shows and maybe get guided tours around things and get told one or two stories about the place that they haven't heard before. So I thought, yes, I can actually do it at night as well. I've got a real special treat that, I don't know, it's a mystery surprise really. It's something I've got to build that's in my head at the minute. If I can pull it off, it will be an amazing animation. And that's all I'm going to say about that for now. It's still bouncing around the old snoodle, but if I could pull that off, it would look great and it would set off a nighttime scene brilliantly. But for now, this hasn't run for a while. I've really got to give it a clean up. I want to see some trains running on it. That would be nice. And then it gives me a blank canvas to start working on again. So that is what I'm going to do. Let's get cracking.
So as you've just seen, the track is cleaned on the top and it's running. I do have one or two niggles with it. And the first niggle is this part here. You can see the card has raised up a bit. And to be honest, that card is just slightly higher than the rail. And again, just on this side, it's catching a little bit. Now I do have two options. First option is to actually try and sand it down, sand it down smooth. And to be fair, I'm not sure about that option. The second option is I just rip that tarmac up and we start again. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a thinner card and I'm gonna see how close I can get it. And we'll see if that'll sort it. Basically, when you're ever doing a concrete area like this, you have to make sure that the rail head is actually taller than the actual concrete stand. I know in real life you wouldn't do that, but in model railways, if you're not careful, the wheels will ride up onto the card and they will just stick. So that is one area I do need to address. And you can only find these things out by testing. So yeah, this area is gonna probably come up and I'm just gonna redo the whole of that area again. Do I have one or two other little bits I need to address on here? I've got to replace a bit of pipe work on there. That needs gluing back in place. And what else have I got to do? This is another little niggle. That capping stone there is missing. Yes, it might only be a little thing, but these things are noticeable. So that's something I need to address first before I start cracking on with anything else. Right, as you've seen, I have actually cleaned the front bit. I've not tested it yet because I need to do underneath where these tunnels are and I need to do the back of the board and all the sidings at the back as well. So that will be my next job. So I'm gonna crack on now, get on with that, bit of luck, when we come back, we'll see something running on the bottom as well. Right guys, I've just been cleaning the back here. This is what the back looks like. See, I've basically just got three sidings. Now then, I've had an issue here when I was testing the actual low cores. The first point, no problem. The second point, this back point here, it was jumping off. And I'm thinking, why on earth is it jumping off? So we'll have a close look and I'll show you the problem I've found. Right, the issue I've found with this point is if you look here, yeah, it looks all right, but it's not. Look at that blade. That blade has actually come out. In fact, it's broken off now. That's how good it was. So, that's another issue I need to do. So I've got a point to change on that one. So that's another jump for the list. Well, we'll get it sorted and then we'll be back on with it again.
Right guys, I've got something to show you. Let's see if we can make it out. And yes, Mary Poppins, she's back in the house. I found her. For those that have followed my advent calendar, Mary Poppins, as you know, flew out, never to be seen again. Well, she reappeared. The carpet monster regurgitated her and she's back. So there you go guys, I did say, if I ever found her, you'd be the first to know. So there you go. Anyway, thank you for visiting Swades Pond. As you can see, I've got lots of work to do, lots of cunning ideas, but I need to crack on with those medial jobs first. We need to landscape the concrete area and we'll see how we get on. So, catch you in the next one guys. Bye for now.